49, a hot air balloon is ascending at a rate of 12 meters per second. So you have an air balloon over here and it's going upwards with an initial velocity of 12 meters per second. Let's choose that upwards is the positive direction, so this would be plus 12 meters per second. And this 80 meters above the ground when a package is dropped over the side. So it is 80 meters over the ground. So let's choose that the ground is 0 meters and this position over here would be 80 meters, right? And the package is dropped. So this is a package and it's dropped over here. How long does the package take to reach the ground? Which, what speed does it hit the ground? So those are the, the questions that we have to answer. So this is a classic constant acceleration exercise. So when the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. They are x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2. We can also use v equals to v0 plus a t and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant. So let's think a little bit here. We have three different equations and we we'll probably don't know which one you should use. So let's use the technique that I always tell my students. That is just mark the things that you don't know. For example, the first equation over here. So the final position, you know the final position since it's zero. The initial position, you know, it's 80 meters. The initial uh, velocity, you know as well, it is 12 meters per second because the initial velocity of the, the package is the same as the balloon. So you, you do know. The time it took to reach the ground, you don't know. The acceleration, you know and t you don't know. So if you want to find t, you could use this equation over here. So in the second equation, the final velocity we don't know, the initial velocity we know, the acceleration we know, and t we don't know. The final velocity we don't know, the initial velocity we know, the acceleration we know, and delta x we know as well. So if you want to find the final velocity, you could use the third equation, this equation over here. So let's see, letter A, how long does the package take to reach the ground? So how long we want, so in letter A, we should use this first equation over here and in letter B, this equation over here. However, if you want to solve this first, this equation over here, this is a second degree equation. It's harder to solve than a first degree equation. So we can avoid that by going first to the, the, the letter B. So in letter B, we can find the, the velocity over here. And then since we have the velocity, we can use this second equation to find T. So if we solve letter B first, it's, it would be easier to solve letter A. But you could use this equation and find T if you want. It's up to you. So let's go for letter B first. So V squared is equal to V zero squared plus two times a delta x. So v is equal to plus minus the square root of v0 squared plus two times a delta x. Let's remember that delta x is equal to minus 80 meters and not plus 80, it's minus 80 meters because it starts at 80 and goes to zero. So the position decreased 80 meters. So let's do the calculation over here. This is plus minus the initial velocity, which is 12 squared plus 2 times the acceleration, which is minus 9.8 because the acceleration points downwards and downwards it's the negative direction times minus 80. And this is equal to plus minus 41.38 meters per second. So now we have to choose which side it is the, the velocity, right? B 
because it's either plus or minus we can have to, to choose it so since the package is falling and falling is downwards and downwards is negative the only possible answer in this case is minus 41.38 meters uh, per second so this is the answer of letter b so now we know v so we can unmark v over here so you can see that we can use the second equation to find t so that's what we are going to do so v equals to v0 plus a t so t is equal to v minus v0 over a so the final velocity we know it is minus 41.38 the initial one we know it's 12 and this over minus 9.8 and this is equal to 5.45 seconds. So this is this is S. 5.45 seconds. So this is the answer of letter A, and this is the answer of letter B. But remember that you could solve letter A first by using this equation over here, but uh, I wanted to avoid the second degree equation. And that's it.